Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez accueillir, Ladies and Gentlemen, please welcome Peak Co-Founder and Gifted Citizen, winner of 2014, Andrew Bastaurus. There were two ladies, two Kenyan ladies. They were the best of friends. They lived in neighboring villages. And they shared their lives together. They shared the successes, the challenges. But over time, they stopped seeing each other, literally, because both of them went blind from a completely curable condition. This was the moment that the two of them in one of the clinics that we were running realized for the first time in 10 years that they were sat next to each other. We were calling their names to take them on the bus three hours away to the nearest eye hospital, and they became aware that they were sat together, and the lady on the left grabbed hold of her friend and stayed next to her all the way through to the operating theater. Now, they are two of 39 million people in the world who are blind, and of those 39 million, four in every five are blind from a condition which is entirely preventable or curable. 90% of those people who are blind are living in low-income countries. Because of this, in 2012, my family and I moved out to Kenya, where we established 100 different eye clinics. Whilst we were running the eye clinics, we would take expensive equipment that would be usual practice in a top-end eye hospital but there were many challenges getting the equipment to these places. Often there was no road access, and rarely did we have any stable power supply. And it was in those places where there was no infrastructure, where there was no electricity, no roads, where the biggest queues of blind patients would be waiting for us. And there was one day in one of these clinics when I went to use the toilet. Now, this was a place with no roads, no electricity, and no water. And as I went to use the latrine, there was somebody sat inside on their phone and I heard the phone ringing, and I thought, this is unusual. But what struck me was, in a place with no infrastructure, there was mobile connectivity. Could we somehow harness that mobile connectivity to reach more people? In a country where more people have access to, water, to, to mobile phones than they do to water and sanitation services, we thought, let's use mobile connectivity to reach them. And so we created Peak. The idea was to replace all of the expensive equipment in the eye hospital with mobile kit that would enable us to do the same tests. Enabled community healthcare workers to go and find blind people in the community. We used it with teachers who were able to screen children in their schools rather than sending an eye doctor to the school. Every time they did the vision test, they were able to understand the visual world of that child. It created an instant Polaroid printer for any child who couldn't see well, which they would take home to their parents as a referral note. And in real time, a personalized SMS would be sent to the hospital notifying them that a child had failed the vision test. The parents would receive a message saying the child had failed, and the headmaster would receive a list of all children in their school that had failed the vision test. In just nine days, 200 20,000 children were screened by 25 teachers, and we found 900 children with visual impairment. Now, it's one thing to detect poor vision, but to understand why it's poor, we needed to see inside the eye, and traditionally, this requires expensive equipment. And so we went about using 3D printed technologies to harness the power of a smartphone to enable us to see inside an eye. Here you can see one of our early 3D printed prototypes which clicks on top of a smartphone. And here you see my long-suffering wife getting yet another eye examination by me. And you see the back of her eye crystal clear on a phone. We were able to get this working in the hands of non-eye care workers. School leavers were able to collect images of a similar standard to an expensive uh, retinal camera. In, when we began, we started with $150,000 of equipment and 15 people required to operate that kit. Now all that is required is a single community healthcare worker on a bike using a smartphone. It costs one hundredth of the original price of the work we were doing. It means the issues that we had with power supply can be overcome using solar power. We can go to the patient rather than waiting for them never to come to us. And every examination we do is geotagged. 
meaning that patients are contactable where they were examined. We can search by any parameter that we've detected. So here we're looking for people who are blind from cataract, the most common cause of blindness. Every red pin being someone who's detectable, treatable, and contactable. As in the school program, we use bulk SMS services, and we link them with a local key informant to make sure we can group those people together to bring them to the hospital for treatment. Now, you probably remember the two ladies who were two of 39 million people who were blind. But it's only in statistics that people go blind in the millions. The reality is people go blind alone. But now, together, we can do something about it. I would just like to say a thank you um, to some particular people for the Gifted Citizen Award last year. Senor Ricardo Salinas Pliego, uh, Comex, especially Marcos Achar, and Andreas, Ro Andreas Roma for the support in this award and, and what it's helped us to achieve in the time since we, we won it. So thank you very much. Yeah.